Hey, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Mihir's Trading Journey. This is your host, Mihir, and it's always great to have you guys here. So today, we're going to actually pick off where we left off on our last video in part one of the Motive Wave setup series, build onto the theme, and get our studies going so this is actually a tradable setup. The very first thing we want to actually go ahead and change today is the theme of our chart, so that way it's the dark theme by default, and we get this very simplistic, what I call trade of eight style charting system. To do that, we're going to go to the global settings from the top right. Once you're in the preferences, I want you to go ahead and click the theme tab. Now, something you guys might notice that is different on my screen compared to yours is that I have this thing called trade of eight green underscore red. Now, this is a custom theme that I made copying over the hex code from the colors of trade of eight candles into motive wave. This way it replicates exactly what the trade of eight looks like because I really love the layout of trade of eight. I just don't like the platform. So we're going to go ahead and show you exactly how to make this as well. First, what you want to do is hit this plus icon up here. First, you want to go up here and hit this plus icon to create a new bar theme. Now give this bar theme any name you would like. I gave it the name trade of it green underscore red. I'm not going to go ahead and do that here right now. I'm going to cancel out of this. I'll show you exactly the settings that I put onto the trade of it green underscore red. That way you guys can copy. So I've just pulled up my trade of it green red bar theme. Make sure the theme is set to dark. Those of you that don't like dark theme, go ahead and test out different colors as you will. Next, you want to enable the outlines for the up bar and the down bar corresponding respectively. And to make this really easy on you guys, I'm going to go ahead and open up all the colors, all the four predominant colors that we're looking at for the bar. I'm going to go ahead and show you the hex codes now. Feel free to go ahead and pause as I'm going through this because I'm going to be speeding this up. So after you've copied the hex code, you're going to go ahead and press OK. For me, it's going to be canceled because I've already made this before. Now what you guys want to do is click on the new template you've just made and then hit apply. Make sure you do this so this actually transfers over to the theme tab down here into the bar theme selector. If you don't hit apply, it's not going to show up. Next, we're going to go ahead and go into the chart themes tab. Hit this plus icon. This way we can create a new chart theme that has crisp dark background so you can really see the contrast in your candles and your background. Name this whatever your heart desires, change the theme to dark theme, and then change the background to any dark background that your heart desires. However, for me, I chose black. After that, you're going to go ahead and press OK. I'm going to press cancel since I've already made this. Once again, we're going to go ahead and click the new template that you've made and hit apply so it actually pops up in our theme drop down menu. So now we're going to actually chill out here in the theme tab and go ahead and change some settings right here. You're going to change the window theme to dark and then you're going to change your chart theme to the chart theme that we just custom made. For me, that's trade of it simple. You're going to change the bar theme to your custom theme that you've made for the bars. Mine is trade of it green underscore red. Next thing you're going to change is the buy sell colors. Change that to red and green instead of red and blue. Another thing I like to change is this active chart station color. If you guys notice on the chart, the borders are blue whenever you click into a chart. I don't personally like that. That just does not match my theme. So I'm going to go ahead and uncheck this use default color scheme. Now the color might be different for all of you guys, but if you guys want to be consistent with your theme, you're going to go ahead and select the same background color you you chose in your custom theme that you made. So for me, that was black and I'm going to go ahead and press that. And now we're going to just go ahead and hit apply and press OK to exit out of these preferences. So as you guys can see, now we have a trade of a look alike chart system and now we can move on to much more complex things. I'm going to go ahead and add a price line to the chart so that way I can see where the price is moving continuously. To do that, I'm going to go ahead and go back into the global settings, go under charts, go under indicators and then we're going to change our last price settings. You're going to make sure the display is enabled next to the last price and the line is enabled next to the last price. We're going to change this white color to a shade of gray because I don't want it to be too bright. Personally, I'm also going to go ahead and disable all these other indicators since I don't really need them on my day-to-day -day analysis. We're finally going to go ahead and hit apply and press OK. And now we got a price line on the chart. So we can finally now get into setting up our volume profiles, which I use across all the charts. So I'm going to set it up on this one chart and then replicate it over to multiple multiple charts. To do that, I'm going to go ahead and hit studies menu on the top left, hit all studies, and we're going to look for a volume profile. Once we have the volume profile pulled up, we're going to go ahead and select the daily volume profile and we're going to go ahead and press OK. We're going to change the bars to 250 and we're going to change the width to 200. We're going to come down here, select a solid color. And personally, I like to make this a light shade of gray. So I'm going to go ahead and select this, the 20% shade. 
And then I'm going to go ahead and disable the high volume color. This is basically the point of control bar on the volume profile being colored, not the line of point of control. So those are two different things. And that's exactly why I have that disabled. I'm going to go ahead and hit create now. And as you guys can see, we have the volume profile for the daily value on the right hand side. So now that we have the daily volume profile, I'm also going to add another volume profile, but not the daily one this time. So we're going to go ahead and go into studies again. We're going to go into all studies. We're going to search a volume profile one more time. This time we're actually going to select the actual volume profile and hit OK. Under the general panel, we're going to go ahead and uncheck the use historical minute bar and we're going to go ahead and hit the RTH data only. This will use only the regular trading hours to calculate what the volume is looking like. We're going to go into the display tab. We're going to change the width to 250. We're going to change the bar color to match the same color we already have on the daily volume profile. So for me, that's going to be the 25% gray shade. And once again, we're going to disable the POC bar color since I don't want one of these bars to be colored as point of control. I like to see my point of control line. So I'm going to go ahead and press this display. So this will display my point of control line. I'm going to leave the POC line color to be default and I'm going to go ahead and disable volume totals and line font. Now for me, I really like displaying the value area high and the value area low. So I'm going to go into the value area tab. I'm going to select show value area, leave the range to 70%. And we're going to disable the bar color. We're going to disable the range fill. And with the range lines, we're going to go ahead and change this to some shade of green. Now we're going to go ahead and press create to finalize all the settings. Now, as you guys can see on the right hand side, we got our daily volume profile mixed in with our current volume profile. Now it looks a little bit messy because we are late into the day now. The second session has opened up for futures and all the volume has settled. But when the market opens up, it's gonna look much more nicer. You're gonna see the daily separated away from the regular trading hours volume profile. And if you're not liking any of these settings right here, you can go ahead and select the daily profile or the volume profile for the RTH, hit the settings icon next to it and change up the width and see how you like it. We're gonna move on and go ahead and add a study called the VWAP. We're gonna go ahead and search up the VWAP indicator click on this and hit ok i'm gonna leave everything to default and go ahead and press create now we have a working vwap on our five minute chart so now we have the most basic layout of all our indicators and our chart set up and now we can go ahead and replicate this over to three different charts as in the example that i showed you in the last video and to do that we're going to go ahead and press this plus icon next to the chart hit the chart button and we're going to go ahead and keep that as nasdaq uncheck this untitled change the bar size to three minutes and we're going to see if the link is red if it is we're good we're going to keep the inherit settings from active chart and press ok this now has created a three minute chart and we're going to zoom out by holding shift and scrolling downwards as we had set it up before and as you guys can see all the settings from our five minutes have been now replicated onto the three minutes so now you don't have to repeat all these steps over and over again we're going to grab this three minute chart and then put it onto the right side of the screen just click and drag and leave it and boom now we got the five minute and the three minute side by side of course we also want to set up our one minute chart so we're going to go ahead and press this plus icon next to the three minute chart we're going to hit chart we're going to keep all the settings as usual uncheck the untitled set this bar size to one minute and press ok same thing guys we need to shift and scroll downwards and we're gonna zoom out set this to the proper size that you like we're gonna go ahead and drag this one minute chart to the bottom right hand corner and there you go now we have the same layout that I showed you in the example video before now to adjust the sizes of this chart let's say you want to make the five minute a little bit smaller you can just go ahead and drag this to the left this will extend to three minutes on the one minute and shorten down the five minutes. And personally, I like to see the three minutes a little bit more. So I'm just going to go ahead and shorten the one minute because I predominantly trade on the five minute and the three minute charts. Now, before I end this video, guys, I want you to go ahead and quickly save this default settings as a template so you don't lose it in the future. Or you could use it on other charts as you desire as you add more charts. I'm going to go into the five minutes, right click, and I'm going to go down into template and then save as template. Name this template whatever you want. So I named it default clean scalp setup. We're going to go ahead and hit the include chart settings and we're going to select all of these because we want all the data from the five minutes to be saved in this template. That way you can transfer it over to other charts in the near future. We're going to go ahead and select save as. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is right click and go ahead, go into template and then click default clean scalp setup. We're going to press yes. And this is going to load that default template across all these charts. We're also going to go ahead and go into global settings one more time, go under charts, go under options, hit the show crosshair, hit global crosshair and unselect the double crosshair. 
I'm also going to turn my crosshair solid, so I'm going to select a solid crosshair and check mark that. I'm going to hit apply and then press OK. And then we're going to go back into chart settings by right clicking on any one of these charts and hitting show crosshair, hitting apply and pressing OK. And now you guys can see we have a crosshair that we can actually work with. Now the color for the crosshair might be a little bit different for you guys. I like to keep it very blended into the background so it's not disturbing me and it's too bright. But if you were like changing the color of the crosshair, you guys can mess around with the setting that I'm about to show you. You're gonna go into the global settings from the top, go into the theme, go into chart themes, select your custom theme that you made, hit edit, and go ahead and change the crosshair color from here. And you can select something like light, light or gray and press OK. Hit apply and press OK again. And now now you have a much brighter crosshair. That's gonna do it for this video, guys. Like I said before, I wanna curate the content in this series so everyone's attention span can actually grasp the information I'm putting out in these videos. So thanks everyone for tuning in. I'll see you guys in the next part of this video series. And until then, trade safe.